If you are asked to consider the equation 4y squared minus xy squared equals x to the third and find the slope of the tangent line at the point 2, 2, you would have to take the derivative. And the derivative of this equation with respect to x is going to require implicit differentiation because there are, a few, there are two factors of y. When I take the derivative of this equation, the term xy squared will require the product rule. Let's get started. The first term in this equation is 4y squared, and the derivative of 4y squared with respect to x is 8y to the first power, but because we're taking the derivative with respect to x, we have to include a factor of the derivative of y with respect to x, which I'll write as y prime. The second term in this equation is negative x times y squared. That is a product. I'm going to consider the first factor of that product, negative x, and the second factor as y squared, and then use the product rule to find the derivative. The product rule states that the derivative of, of two factors is the first factor unchanged times the derivative of the second factor. The first factor is negative the x. The second factor, y squared, has a derivative of 2y, but since that we're differentiating with respect to x, we have to include a factor of y prime. Plus, so what I have right now is the first factor times the derivative of the second, and now I'm going to write the second factor, y squared, times the derivative of the first factor. And the derivative of the first factor, which I'm considering negative x, is negative 1. Equals, on the other side of the equation, I have x to the third, whose derivative is simply 3x squared. I'm going to take a step and clean things up a little bit. I'll write this derivative as 8y times y prime minus 2xy times y prime minus y to the second power equals 3x squared. That involved multiplying x, 2, and y, but writing it with the coefficient first, and then writing y squared times negative 1 as negative y squared. To solve this derivative, to solve it in the form y prime equals, I'm going to have to keep the two terms that involve a y prime on the left side of this equation and move the term negative y squared, which does not involve a y prime factor, to the right side of the equation. That will mean I would have to add y squared to both sides. So the equation, after adding y squared to both sides, has this form. Then, on the left side, I'll factor a y prime out to the front. When you factor a y prime out to the front, the derivative takes the form y prime times the quantity of 8y minus 2xy equals 3x squared plus y squared. The last step in finding the derivative of y with respect to x will be to divide both sides by 8y minus 2xy. And when dividing both sides of the equation by 8y minus 2xy, I find that y prime, which is the derivative of y with respect to x, is 3x squared plus y squared all over 8y minus 2xy. This is the derivative. And I'm going to use this derivative to answer the question, which is to find the slope of the tangent line at the point 2, 2. I'm going to be into the derivative, substituting a 2 for x and a 2 for y, which means the slope of the tangent line at the point 2, 2 is 3 times 2 squared plus 2 squared all over 8 times 2 minus 2 times 2 times 2. Well, 2 squared is 4 times 3 is 12 plus 2 squared is 4 over 8 times 2 is 16 minus 2 times 2 is 4 times 2 is 8. 12 plus 4 is 16. 16 minus 8 is 8. The slope of the equation of the tangent line to the equation 4y squared minus xy squared equals x to the third at the point 2, 2 is positive 16 over 8. That is positive 2.